Gonna do a Lion's Gate portal. New moon in Leo reading for the collective. And the first card I pull, I'm gonna have it address all of the retrogrades that we have right now. Holy shit, we got Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, Chiron, uh, the asteroid, and Eris, which is a dwarf planet, all in retrograde right now. So a lot is coming up for people that a lot of us thought we had nicely packed away. And, you know, when these retrogrades come up, anything that's unresolved in our energetic field will come back to the surface for us. Ooh, and look at the card I got. Transformation. Oh, no, I didn't. It says let it go. I was thinking transformation. Let it go. And this, I, I love this deck. This is uh, it's called the Secret Language of Light. Um, I have it on my website, Eagle Medicine Psychic Readings in the Metaphysical Shop. This, the art and the pictures and the symbolism. When I see this card, I see the sword and it reminds me immediately of Archangel Michael, the master of cord cutting. But what I'm also seeing in here is that there's a lot of depth. Like what I'm first drawn to is the sword. And, you know, the question that I was pulling this card was, how to help us get through these retrogrades? What's coming up that we need to sort of, you know, to help us? And I see in the background, you can see a whole lot of sacred geometry. It looks like a combination of Metatron's healing cube with uh, the flower of life kind of superimposed. So because the sacred geometry symbols are in the background, that tells me that a lot of the stuff that's coming up for people is transformative and not necessarily, there's kind of a misconception about retrogrades. Retrogrades are not bad for, for people uh, generally. Uh, all the time. What makes a retrograde challenging is it will bring up to the surface, like I said, anything that's unresolved in our energy field. But if somebody is actively unpacking their, you know, their challenges and working on themselves and doing their healing a bit at a time, when that next retrograde hits that might have floored you last year, you'll, you'll, you won't be so bad. So the more we work through our shadow aspects and the parts of us that you know may made some extra healing those retrogrades won't have anything to pull to the surface that you're not ready for because you've already faced it and it will dissolve just like this beautiful mist on this filter here so and the number on this card is 18 and for any of you that are into numerology that would signify if you see 18 it is time to let it go this next card I'm going to pull and address the issue of upgrades and why this is a, uh, an important theme right now is because the Lionsgate portal is kind of a big deal. It come, It's created by the position of Sirius, the Leo New Moon, and the numerology of 88. So you wrap that up. And also Sirius is known as our spiritual sun and it represents upgrades and higher consciousness and you know activating ourselves on, on a soul level so it really helps us access you know our higher self and the best versions of ourselves so ooh, the card i got is soul writing and this is the second card i pulled for the collective today that has metatron's healing cube on it which is one of my favorites i wear this as an orgone pendant i've got it got it in my shop so Soul writing. When I look at this card, oh, deep, deep, it's hard to even see it, but you can see right, oh, that word says truth. So, I'm tapping in and just asking Spirit to show me a visualization of, of what this, uh, how, how this can be most helpful. A lot of people are feeling like these activations and, you know, these, uh, I, I'm feeling anxiety and upgrades often feel like anxiety until the body starts to integrate them. So the way that it works is, you know, we have a body, our, our meat suit and our chakras. And when our chakras open up and our chakras, you know, they can become more active and, and wider and they can pull from the higher spiritual chakras to amplify their energy. When the chakras fluctuate and open up quickly, the body sometimes struggles because the chakras mirror the physical. And it doesn't happen immediately, but you know, for example, if somebody gets this massive download in the Lionsgate portal and it's super high, di high dimensional, interdimensional, metaphysical, you know, 
it can be hard to to integrate so uh, a common uh, thing that people experience is migraines so if you're getting migraines here or you're getting them on the back of your head that's actually an ascension symptom so and I'm also seeing you know sifting through the the different parts of our life the way that we had thought it was written and this card says soul writing so there's a lot of people that I can, oh I just saw this image of unzipping a, like a cloak like a black cloak and just throwing it off and that's gonna be living in your truth as long as you're living in your truth you're gonna be on the right soul path for you it doesn't matter what other people think so think about the imprint you want to leave behind I thought I was gonna pull one card but spirit was showing me pull three more so I'm gonna and the way I pull cards is I run my hand across the cards and the ones that feel boy, look at the way that uh, the uh, filter makes that look cool I, the one that feels warm come out so again and just pull three and then it'll all come together I don't I've learned to not question I don't question when I question I make mistakes <laughs> okay so Ask your soul, remembrance, let your light shine. That really summarizes the entire experience of what happens in the Lions, Lionsgate portal and with all these things in retrograde. Asking our soul, returning back to our inner essence to find who we are instead of seeking it out there in the world. That is a big transfer. People have to talk about the transition from 3D to 5D. Well, this is one of them. Going from external validation to internal validation. That is part of ascension. Asking your soul, not asking what the popular people think or the people that you want their respect think. Ask your soul. And remembrance. With all these retrogrades, things will be coming up that I said earlier, we think we sometimes tuck them away in nice little boxes. And it comes to the surface again, not because you're going backwards or you're doing worse or that other work didn't help, but now you're stronger for another layer. Healing happens in cycles and retrogrades really pull those cycles up to the surface. So, um, you know, the more you work on that, it's like peeling off the layers of an onion. You know, I'm sure we've all, all peeled an onion before and you think you've gotten every layer you go to make cut up and make the sauce and there's another layer sometimes I've, there's another layer that's just how healing is it doesn't mean you're doing it wrong it means you're getting stronger and able to do more of the work and that happens through remembrance not avoidance and ultimately the you know the end result is let your light shine and this has beautiful imagery on it you can see that she's emanating her light from inside on the way out and you, there is really a kind of a transition of getting the light shining in and then it kind of is equal there and then it goes to let your light shine do the hard work it's worth it you'll come out the other end and your soul will thank you later